Good morning, guys, and welcome to another vlog. You know, I really want to make one of those introductions where I just set the alarm clock off and you see the cell phone turning up. But I wake up without an alarm clock, so I feel like it would be a bit disingenuous. Anyway, today is my first time going back to uni after my time in France. I need to go there to drop my laptop and portable monitor. I'm just gonna leave them there from now on. I'm tired of carrying them all the way from home to the office all the time. While we're at uni, I might as well sneak a study session in the library. I miss that library so, so much. Such a cool space. I'm only gonna go after lunch, but before that, I need to go groceries. And before all that, we're going to the gym. I just had the most gorgeous shower. I trimmed my beard, did my skincare, and now I am starving. So we're gonna make some food. I'm gonna make some bagels with egg and cheese as usually I do in the morning. And we're having decaf because I'm only having one coffee per day due to sleeping reasons. Also dropped by my barbers on the way back. I haven't seen them in a month and a half and I love them to bits. And I made an appointment for Friday 11 a.m. because I really need to get rid of some of this. And now on to food. That was absolutely delicious. Now my mate Irene has just invited me to do some study pomodoros and I cannot say no to some poms. So I think I'm gonna have a little study session before heading to Aldi and then cooking lunch and then finally going to uni. Let's have a little grocery haul. First thing is some chicken thighs. I love them to bits. They're not as lean as normal chicken breast, but they're not as dry either. And they're fucking delicious. We are going to be making some wraps. So obviously I got some tortillas. I really like the whole meal ones. Bagels because well, I eat an industrial amount of bagels every month. So I was running out. I got some eggs because I was also running out. I eat so many eggs that my father, when I was in France, he told me that he was gonna get a special contract with a supermarket just to get me more eggs. <laughs> Then we have some fruit, we have some grapes, we have some bananas and some pink, pink lady apples. I really like them. Then we have some light mozzarella. I love dropping this on dishes that I make. For example, I'm gonna put this in the wraps. Finally, some shredded lettuce because I'm way too lazy to shred my own lettuce. I want to make air fried breaded chicken, but I just can't find breadcrumbs in the Aldi's next door. So we're gonna improvise a bit. like to bring some food with me when I know I'm gonna be out for a long time because I'm if I get hungry I'm probably gonna have to buy something and knowing me it's gonna be some piece of shit food that I found in a store somewhere so by bringing some food I stop myself from eating shit on the negative it does make my um, my bag much heavier but think about it not only do I stop myself from eating shit but I also add weight to my backpack making it the perfect fitness tip. Like, you're gonna get shredded just from this tip. And speaking of heavy backpacks, here it is. This is what we're gonna take to uni today, to our lab. 
So we have the portal portable monitor in there, the laptop, and these two items we're gonna be leaving in the lab because I just cannot be bothered with carrying them around every time I have to go to uni. It's just heavy. <laughs> and we're taking the iPad to do some work in the library. So it's a very, very full backpack. Oh, how could I forget? <laughs> and there's also the charger. Fortunately, this also stays in the lab. There's another essential piece. I'm actually gonna take it empty because I can fill it up in the library. So I don't have to... Fuck me, man, that is so hard. But yeah, now we're gonna get ready and wait for a bus. We're in uni now and I never thought I'd say this, but I kind of miss these buses. After one month in France, with terrible buses. It's kind of nice to have somewhat decent ones. In France, I remember I was coming back from the gym and three buses did not show up. I was there for two hours and a half waiting and I ended up walking it like one hour walk because they just didn't show up. So yeah, first bus, you're garbage, but you're not the most garbage. All right, I just dropped my stuff in the lab. I'm sorry I couldn't show you guys, but there were a couple of students working in there and I hate to disturb people, especially when it's just about filming for YouTube. One of the students was actually new in there. I've never seen her before. And it was actually the first time that someone could not pronounce my name. I'm super used to not being able to pronounce other people's names. Now I know how people feel when I absolutely butcher their names. Anyhow, let's head up to the library. I think that's enough pomodoros for today. It's time for some cold chicken. I cannot express how much I love this library, especially when it's so empty. It's bliss. I'm gonna eat, wait for a bus, get home and chill. And so by consequence, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I really appreciate it if you stuck around till the end. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope the vlogs are getting better. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the general style and vibes. Also, let me know if there's anything you'd like to see. I genuinely do love this campus and I love coming on Unity to do some work. If you'd like some tips on studying or my PhD life or whatever you'd want, just leave in the comments below and I'll try my best to get a video out for you. I am genuinely trying to get over this fear of recording and using my camera in public. I have no rational reason for me to be afraid because all of my friends are incredibly supportive and they even helped me record it as you saw today at the gym. So it's basically a mindset thing that I'm trying to get over. All in all, I absolutely love making videos. I love the creative process of trying to find little ways to make the video more interesting. I love trying out new angles, new transitions, trying to talk to the camera more in public. It's scary, but exciting. So. I hope I can get better at it. Now, with that little confession out of the way, and before we get a bit too emotional, thank you so much for watching. It has been a blast today, and I hope it has been for you as well. Wherever you are, have a beautiful day, and see you next time. Oh, sign my papers. But I got you close and